hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about correct way to make a checkbox checked so before that uh, let me show you how <coughs> we would do in a traditional way so before jumping into the code let me show you what i'm going to do so in my all videos i'm going to add code in my custom plugin so this is my local site and this is my custom plugin and for this i'm gonna use a short code and if you don't know how to create short code i have already created a video inside let's learn wordpress playlist tutorial 23 i would suggest to go and check out that first and then come back over here so in my uh, previous video I have created a short code so I'm gonna add that short code again so which short code I have created so I'm gonna open my so this is my local WordPress repo content plugin this is my custom plugin and I'm gonna open <coughs> shortcodes.php So this is the short code I have created post list which displays list of post. So let me add that short code. And view page. So it is simply displaying a list of uh, book post type yes so this is the post type i have created books so it is displaying those books so i'm gonna add a checkbox before this book title so let me add that checkbox we'll keep the value same as the title now let's refresh this page so we have this checkbox over here so now let me uh, consider that uh, the isro title should have the checked checkbox before that let me add a space over here so what we would do in here in a traditional way we will use this first we will take blank and then if the title equal to is row and dollar checked equal to checked equal to check <coughs> and that we would use inside this input So let's refresh this so as you can see now isro is checked but in a wordpress this is not the correct way wordpress has defined a function to make checkbox checked 
so which is the function here is the function called checked in in that uh, first value we want to uh, first value argument is the value one and another argument is the value two to compare and third one is the whether we want to echo this or not by default it, it is true so here um, for this we can get rid of this and we can use checked over here then the first value we can check is the title in the loop and another one is what we were comparing so let's take that e0 and uh, make it false we don't want to echo that because we are echoing over here and now let's try to check this so as you can see now it is checked let's say we want to check around c2 So it is checking like this so this is how checked function works let us know if you have any doubt or question uh, please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys